Who doesn't enjoy a good baby animal video? They're always doing something so flipping cute, it's impossible not to adore them. So let's take a half hour and indulge in a good dose of cuteness that we all deserve, don't we? Been waiting for. She's like the speeding. <laughs> From a baby panda with a leg fixation to a baby crocodile that purrs like a kitten, here are 20 cutest animals that will make you go, oh. Number 20. Baby monkey helps dad take care of ducks. What? Are you made out of stone or what? If the sight of a baby monkey petting a brood of fluffy yellow ducklings doesn't make you all gooey inside, then I have to break it to you, you may be a psychopath. This pint-sized primate seems to consider himself one of the group, perhaps taking on the role of a kind of older sibling, just keeping those birds in check, but going in with them at dinner time and snuggling up for hugs as well. This unusual but super cute combo seem to all enjoy each other's company and spend hours playing together on the grass. And that's about it, really. There isn't that much use to do all day when you're a baby monkey or a duckling. Life is just simple and sweet. Oh, aren't they just the absolute cutest? They're simply bananas for each other. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Kitten Kissing Back Its Owner Can you even handle this next level of cuteness, especially after that last one? Here's the cute and heartwarming story of a five-second video clip that melted a bazillion hearts back in the spring of 2020 when we were all relentlessly scrolling through the internet looking for scraps of positivity, as you may recall. So here was a psychology student named Fadwa Abbas sharing a teeny little video of her one-month-old kitten being very charming indeed. As Fadwa kisses the kitten, whose name is Handsome, he appears to return her kiss by planting one on her cheek as well. And if that's how everyone on the internet decided to look at it, who the heck am I to argue with them? Number 18. Clingy Panda Won't Let Go of Nanny's Leg at Any Cost there are so many videos all over the place of these gorgeous and funny baby pandas being extremely attached to their zookeepers and being a hilarious inconvenience with surprisingly sharp comic timing. There's the one where the lady's trying super hard to tidy up the panda's enclosure, and those cheeky little scamps are just following her around, undoing all of her work, and hanging onto her legs for the fun of it as well. Then there's this guy who is patiently tidying around the panda space, all the while with a full-on panda attachment on his left leg. It seems that the more the keepers ever try to move the panda and get on with the task at hand, the more playful and mischievous these cheeky little bears become, getting more persistent and adding in other naughty actions too. But is it that these babies just want to cuddle? Perhaps they just really want their zookeepers to stop and give them a proper bear hug for a moment. Perhaps we should all go do that for a second. Just stop working and go give someone you love a nice squeeze. Mmm, wasn't that nice? Number 17. Cute Baby Bunny Washing Her Face Now, I have a confession, and I don't want you to tell anyone but I have spent more hours than any normal human ever should watching a guinea pig eating a string bean. Literally hours, possibly even days of my life at this point. There's just something so very relaxing about that funny little face and twitchy little nose just really eating that bean. Oh. 
Please don't judge me. Anyway, moving swiftly on, the reason I mention that guinea pig is that this insanely cute bunny has more or less the same effect on me. I mean, I've watched it washing its fluffy little face like five times already. This is going to be a real time waster. This little rabbit, who apparently goes by the somewhat unoriginal name of Bun Bun, is captured here washing her face on a sofa. That's it. She's just doing a regular rabbit thing. In fact, rabbits are very clean animals, spending a long time every day washing themselves, so this is not even an unusual thing to see. But I'm transfixed. How about you? Go on, watch it again. Knock yourself out because you know you want to. Number 16. Tiny Baby Deer Asks People to Rescue Her is anyone else out there in therapy after watching Bambi? Then you might want to skip this one because it gets way too Bambi for my liking. I just need to text my therapist for a moment. Anyways, here we have a tiny little baby deer who seems to have found herself all alone in the forest in Ontario, Canada. Now I know there are bears out there, so I really hope this is going to have a happy ending. This baby deer was stuck in the river and calling for help. And Unfortunately, some good people from Woodlands Wildlife Sanctuary were out there and ready to save her. And despite the wildlife people trying to return her to near where they found her, the little animal just kept calling and crying and following her rescuers. They could see no sign of the animal's mother anywhere and stayed near, but hoped that the baby would be reunited with her mother. However, she just kept on bawling her eyes out. Oh goodness, does anyone else have sweaty eyes right now? It's a warm day here. Just excuse me for a moment. Eventually, those good souls of the wildlife people realized the full Bambi implications of the situation, and that's when they decided that they'd bring the lost little fawn back to the sanctuary. The baby deer had been asking for their help the whole time. She was taken into the sanctuary and named Ivy and then brought together with other orphaned fawns to grow up together. When they became strong enough, they were then released all together back into the forest. Number 15. Baby Elephants Love to Cuddle Now, how close is too close? Is getting tongued by an elephant perhaps taking your relationship a bit too far? This is the insane footage of a man seen snuggling with a baby elephant at the Patara Elephant Farm in Thailand. This dude does seem to be having a pretty lovely time though, it's true, but I would be just a tiny bit concerned about a baby elephant using your head as a chew toy. Waiting for? Amazing. <laughs> But, you know, that's just me, and it takes all sorts to make this funny old world go round. It looks to all intents and purposes as if the elephant is really digging the guy. And while that might be kind of okay when the elephant's small, just imagine what this scenario looks like when that elephant's all grown up. I should imagine there would be a bit more screaming and possibly crunching. Now I know I'm being a safety nerd, and it is cute if you like that sort of thing. But really, who doesn't enjoy watching a human getting snogged by an elephant? Number 14. Adorable puppy absolutely loves his duck buddy. Well, isn't this just the most gosh darn cutest thing you've ever seen? This little puppy and its big duck friend seem to get on like a house on fire. It's hard to say whether these cute animals are pals or if they're trying to figure out if they're family or what. The little puppy's likely seeking a hug from a mama figure, and the duck seems to fit that role just perfectly, even seeming to tolerate the puppy's playful nips at her feet. Honestly though, whose heart wouldn't just melt at the sight of a teeny fluffy pup having a ride on the back of a big 
feathery duck, even if it does look the tiniest bit like it might just be hanging on for dear life. Now, I'm not accusing anyone of anything, but a more cynical person might think that it looks ever so slightly staged. Not me, though. I know that puppies absolutely definitely ride around on ducks like that. It's quite natural, isn't it? There's nothing to see here. Oh, but just look at those guys. Number 13. Baby Miniature Horse Adorably Chases Man Around Barn now, while I can watch a baby bunny wash its face, or a guinea pig named Twinkle eating a bean for hours on end, there's something weird about this guy enjoying being chased by a baby miniature pony. Or is that just me as well? Tell me, does anyone else think this is weird? <laughs> The pony is cute, I mean, that goes without saying, but then the definition of cute is basically any extra small version of something, isn't it? Unusually small hat? Cute. Unusually small pizza? Also cute. Unusually small horse? Yeah, that's still cute, but what I actually would like to know is what they're actually for. Some of these extremely tiny horses are only big enough for a baby to ride, and I have a feeling that would not be very sensible. So what exactly do they do? Except chase grown ass men around and look all small and cute all the live long day. Number 12. Baby Crocodile Likes to Be Pet Like a Kitten Oh, just look at this little guy. This incredibly cute footage shows just how easy it is to take a cute baby crocodile home with you while it's still small and can't yet murder you. And it has a funny little squeaky voice. But one day this guy's going to be seven feet long and he might not respect the difference between his allocated dinner and the cat. Or maybe not. Perhaps Rufio will grow up to be a very polite, gigantic crocodile. Who can really say? Now, don't get me wrong, I'd absolutely love a pet crocodile or alligator. These are basically my favorite animals of all time and I especially love to tickle their soft little squishy bellies. Yes, they do have lovely soft bellies. They really, really do. But these guys grow and grow and grow. And you know the stories about all those alligators living in the sewers, right? Just waiting to come up the toilet after you sit down? Well, even if that is a silly urban myth, you don't want to be responsible for yet another Whoops, I had no idea he would get so big. Embarrassment when your pet snaffled down the next door neighbor's puppy and refuses to get out of their swimming pool. It does happen. We've all been there. But don't be fooled by how teeny little Rufio is in this clip. He is a baby, and he is going to grow really, really big. Oh, but he's really cute when he purrs like a little kitten, isn't he? Number 11. Baby Caracal Screams for Food Okay, baby animals are generally cute, that's a given. But is it okay if I find this one just a little bit spooky? There's something a bit unsettling about this screaming Caracal. Call me old fashioned, but wildcats screaming is just a tiny bit too scary for me. Give me a guinea pig with a green bean, please. That's my safe place. If you like the sort of thing, here's a screaming baby African wildcat in Almaty, Turkey. She's apparently hungry and is asking her owner for dinner. While she is small and squeaky, that's probably fine. But what if this impatience carries over into her adulthood? What does a hungry wildcat do to get their dinner? Do they still ask? Think about Twinkle and the bean. It's all going to be okay. Number 10. Baby Giraffe Becomes Best Friends with an Ostrich at Houston Zoo. Ostriches and giraffes seem to share some sensibilities. They're often seen together in captivity and frequently make cross-species friendships with each other. So the most recent pairing seems to have happened back in late 2019 at the Houston Zoo, where this baby giraffe and an ostrich hit it off and became best buddies. 
but we've seen it before back in the day in Tampa Bay. A love story would unfold in a similar fashion. Living on the Serengeti Plain Safari, a 65-acre area of Busch Gardens theme park, Bee the giraffe and Wilma the ostrich struck up a beautiful, even if unusual, friendship. Zookeepers were surprised that the pair seem to be spending so much time together. After all, they have plenty of space to roam around in. So it did seem like they were really seeking out each other's company. Giraffes are especially fond of using their long black tongues to explore their surroundings, and that's exactly how Bee the Giraffe expressed her interest and investigated the face of Wilma the Ostrich. It sounds intimate even romantic. If that giraffe tongue does it for you, that is. And it seems as though it does for Wilma. The pair are more or less inseparable, despite their obvious differences. And really, who are any of us to judge? Number 9. Adorable Baby Rhino Falls in Love With Her Rescuer's Cat the orphaned baby rhino named Jamila has suffered horrific traumas in her short life. She witnessed the attack of poachers on her mother and experienced the loss of her mother and a machete attack herself while she was trying to protect her mother from the poachers themselves. It's truly horrifying. But this special animal has sparked up a bond with a pet cat. The cat goes by the name of Mewy and has been offering a kind and comforting presence to the traumatized rhino during her early days at the rhino orphanage. It seems as though Jamila has formed a really intense bond with the furball, despite their obvious differences and the fact that cats are psychopaths. The cat has had an instinctive understanding of what the rhino needs, following them about the place, settling down to sleep nearby, and even joining them on walks, just generally offering a reassuring and constant presence. Ah, oh, that is so very cute, isn't it? Number 8. Cute Baby Ducks Follow Man Around Yard some people just seem to attract all the waifs and strays from around the neighborhood. In my house, it's the neighbor's cat who comes in and makes itself at home at every available opportunity. Someone leaves the door open for two seconds, and there's that cat sleeping in my chair. That's pretty standard, but a brood of ducklings popping by to waddle around every day? That's perhaps a bit more unusual. This guy opens his kitchen door in the morning, and there they are, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, just waiting to play a game of follow my leader all around his backyard. And when the demanding local waifs and strays are as cute as this, how could anyone possibly resist? Just look at these guys waddling about. It's just too cute. Did you go, uh? I bet you did, didn't you? Number seven. Baby Seal Scares Polar Bear These two babies will likely as not become predator and prey, so hopefully you can pop that little inconvenient fact aside and enjoy them while they're still just being cute together before they know that they're actually mortal enemies. From the BBC series Snow Bears, there's a chance tiny encounter between the two youngsters of different species that had everyone all over the internet just freaking out over how intensely cute that it all was. The two species' lives are interwoven throughout the year as the polar bear must follow their prey through the seasons, and when spring arrives, they all then travel north to the last remaining ice sheets. So the footage that had everyone's cuteness detectors going off full blast was when a baby polar bear fell over in fear as a baby seal pops out from the ice and gives it a fright. It is super cute, and you'll want to watch it over and over a bunch of times, no doubt. Just put all that stuff about them eating each other and whatnot out of your mind. Think happy thoughts. Go to your happy place where all the baby animals play and gather. Nobody eats each other, ever. Number 6. Noisy Baby Seal Mistakes Photographer for Her Mother Sometimes it's really confusing to be a baby animal. Things get muddled and scary really quickly, and you just need your mama to help you figure it all out. And sometimes even that part gets all muddled up, and your mama's just far away, even though you're calling for her. 
and then a weird photography lady's trying to take your picture the whole time. And you're just asking her if she saw your mom go by this way, but she's crazy and says that you must have mistaken her for your mother. Of course, it's all absurd. She smells nothing like your mother, and frankly, she kind of stinks. So you just carry on with all of your questions about your mom, but this woman is evidently off of her trolley and you're not making your words come out right. You're just a baby seal after all, you don't even have words. The photographer keeps on chatting away to the baby and the baby seal just keeps on making a lot of fuss trying to locate her mother. In the end, the seal realizes her error and then begins to move off in another direction hopefully on the trail of her mother's scent this time. Although baby seals do not yet have good eyesight, their sense of smell is what generally guides them and keeps them close to their mothers. So you can only hope that the baby's mama was indeed close by and the pair would soon be reunited. Fingers crossed, because it's just too much to bear. Number five, newborn baby sea turtles race to the ocean. When baby loggerhead sea turtles hatch out of their eggs on the beach and then make their fast and furious clamber across the sand towards the sea, it's the last thing that anyone will see of them for the next 7 to 10 years. It sounds crazy, but scientists really don't know what these marine reptiles get up to for all of those years of their adolescence. So finding this all rather dissatisfying, the nosy scientists needed to find a way to poke about in the turtle's business after they hatch and before they turn up again all those years later. Hopefully it's not like human adolescence, or that's going to involve a lot of watching these turtles sulking in their bedrooms and sleeping. Back to the cuteness though, before they get all that acne and facial piercings, the sea turtles hatch out of their eggs that have been safely buried in the sand, and then they all begin to clamber out of their hole and instinctively head in the direction of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a long way to the water when you have such tiny little itty bitty legs, and it takes time and the journey is fraught with dangers. However, they look so cute as they go, all tumbling and scrambling along, heading straight towards the water. Oh, it's so sweet. I do hope they make it. Number four, cute baby seal cuddles up to tourist. When a Canadian woman named Charlene Fritz was out on a trip to Snow Hill Island on the Antarctic Peninsula, she had a beautiful encounter with a baby animal that will no doubt stay in her memory for a long time. While she was observing the wildlife of the area, a two-month-old baby elephant seal popped out of the water and gave Fritz a hug. This big, fat seal, although only two months old, was already a hefty 200 pounds of lovely blubber, making him all super cuddly and squishy. Now, it's not really advised for people to approach or even touch any kind of wild animal, but while Fritz stayed till the seal made his own approach and clambered up onto her lap for some love. Oh, this kid though. He took it a bit too far when he leaned in for a smooch. I mean, nobody really wants to get tongued by a seal, do they? Number three, baby crocodiles make laser gun sounds. A group of extremely tiny crocodiles taking a bath together and playing a game of pretend laser tag seems like something quite thoroughly made up, but here it is videoed for evidence and all. This clutch of baby Cuban crocodiles are actually extremely endangered, and as a result, these little guys are all residents of the Dragonwood Conservancy in Wisconsin. This is a nonprofit organization that provides refuge for endangered reptiles and also works on breeding programs to reintroduce critically endangered animals to their natural habitats. The center is also a hub for research and education as well. These cute little baby crocodiles were all filmed playing together in the bathtub, making their unique characteristic noises that sound a lot like laser guns to our ears, which makes the whole scene just impossibly cute as they play so happily together in the water. Have I heard you say all yet? Number two, Lion Cub gives us his best roar. 
I'm afraid that I can't really tell you where this little lion was when he was doing all of this cute little roaring, but what I can tell you is that this baby roar was surprising enough that it made Twinkle jump out of her skin and she's dropped her green bean. Oh, poor love. She is of a nervous disposition, as most guinea pigs are. Baby lions only begin to roar when their vocal cords are developed enough, but learning to roar is an essential skill that every lion needs to hone as part of their ability to communicate and to assert their dominance over other lions and their pride, as well as my pet guinea pig Twinkle. If a lion can't assert themselves with their roar, then they're immediately relegated to the bottom of the pecking order. So this baby lion's first squeaky attempts at sound are hugely important and significant as a developmental milestone. And it is super cute, even if a little startling for a sensitive little guinea pig. Oh, Twinkle, it's gonna be okay. Number 1. Baby Arctic Fox Steals Man's Fish Sometimes just showing real determination and a whole lot of sass is the way to melt even the sternest of Russian men's hearts. Wait, what? A Russian man was out fishing in a snowy winter landscape in the depths of Russia, and he has his fish buried in a hole nearby. Then a beautiful young Arctic fox boldly walks towards the man, curious to see what he has and if there may be any food about. This is such a harsh and forbidding landscape that it's hard to find enough to eat, so any opportunity to get a morsel of food from almost anywhere is a chance that mustn't be missed by the animals that live there. A missed potential meal could mean death in a place where food is so scarce. This is a young arctic fox that's showing some real grit in the face of what could be a scary situation. But she's also extremely persistent and just keeps on trying. Despite the Russian man's rather aggressive shouting as he attempts to chase off the fox, the little animal is not deterred, returning quickly after each moment that she's chastised by the man. Little by little, the man's protests dwindle as he's bewitched by the animal's perseverance, and eventually, he just yields to her brave determination, and she takes the prize, snarfing it down before the man might change his mind. It is such a remarkable and close-up encounter, even the gruff man has to concede in the end and accept the tenacity of the animal, and she's so pretty as well, isn't she? Well, that was all completely adorable wasn't it? I don't know about you, but I'm going to need a rest to get over all of that excessive cuteness. Don't mind me, I have a date with a guinea pig and she has a green bean. Anyways, that was a bit of an overshare, wasn't it? Tell me all about your own favorite cute animal antics. Do you have a favorite? Let me know about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.